Victoria's Police Minister Peter Ryan has questioned the authenticity of a document which details plans to reinstate a former Deputy Police Commissioner who had resigned. It's claimed the document was part of a political campaign to oust the then Police Commissioner Simon Overland from office, an accusation the Coalition Government rejects. Hamish Fitzsimmons reports. The state government can't seem to get away from the controversy of then Police Commissioner Simon Overland's resignation last year. I've just uh, reached a position where I believe it's in the best interests of Victoria and Victoria Police for me to leave. A document obtained by the Australian newspaper links the Police Minister's office to the campaign that resulted in Simon Overland quitting. It's claimed it was prepared by Police Minister Peter Ryan's former adviser days after Simon Overland had asked his then deputy, Sir Ken Jones, to resign after a falling out. The document outlines ways in which Sir Ken could return to the job on the basis of Mr Overland resigning. The content of the document is five pages and if I may say it is bizarre in content. The document claims the police union offered to stop criticising Simon Overland in the media in return for the coalition's police minister refusing Ken Jones' resignation. The union is declining to comment today and the police minister says he saw the document for the first time just this week and says there's no proof of who wrote it or why. It is not dated, it is not signed, there is no attribution on the document as to by whom it was prepared. It was certainly not prepared with a view to being directed to me because otherwise it would say it on the face of it and it doesn't. I don't think Peter Ryan's in a position to question the authenticity of anything. You know, this bloke has dodged and weaved and ducked and done everything he possibly can to avoid providing a full account of what went on in his private office. The opposition says the contents of the document are at odds with the Minister's claim he was unaware of any campaign against Simon Overland. Peter Ryan's problem is he would have us believe that he is the only one telling the truth in relation to the systematic uh, bringing down, the systematic campaign against Simon Overland. Mr Ryan says he's off to the US later this year to study New York-style zero-tolerance policing. Hamish Fitzsimmons, Lateline.